abstract. It is a keyword which is meant for performing the operations performing the operations on variable sorry not on variable on method and class level okay see basically abstract class here if you need to provide any prototype in your project also we will be having prototype like uh, whenever you are uh, designing a particular uh, project first we will have some prototype like some plan which methods to be used what are the written types needs to be available all these things we will be having some prototype methods where by making use of this abstract uh, class only we will design the plan what we have to use in the project now here i have defined one particular abstract method you can see this particular abstract method i can derive it into any other uh, class and i can override it i have to override it not i can clear next in abstract class we have a rule at least one abstract method needs to be there and if you want you can have concrete methods also see i have concrete method over here is that clear next here i have declared a variable and i have initialized to 10 also over here now this has to be derived to some class how we can derive this particular class to some class how to override this particular method we are going to see now okay hmm. say here i have abstract class here i am deriving the abstract class over here and whenever if i am deriving the abstract class i'll remove this see it is show an error add an implemented methods we have to override that particular method is that clear next here i will be typing some code whatever you want okay next this particular method if you want to call you can create an object for the class see i'm creating an object for the class and i'm calling display function say hi function which is available over here you can see that next the variable i'm calling and abstract class variables are not like final variables if you want you can change the values to that particular variables also initially it was 10 later i have replaced with 100 right now if you print it prints 100 see hello hi and 100 is that clear any doubts now one more thing to say over here that is see here i am creating an object for derived class only let's say if i need to create a reference for base class see i can create a reference for base class and i can create an instance for the subclass it is mixed object right now with this object also i can call the methods because this method it is available in both the classes that is it is abstract in the base class in derived class it is overridden when it comes to this one this is there in the base class only indirectly it is available in the derived class is that clear variable it is there in the base class indirectly it is available in the derived class clear let's suppose say here i have created put method where this put method is available only in the derived class there is no relationship between base class and this put method now if i call this put method it will show an error because it is mixed object 
Clear? Any doubts? This put method is available only in the derived class. Whereas here I have created mixed object where this mixed object will have the permission to call the methods which is available in the base class which is available in the both the classes that means you take an example of display it is available in both the classes that can be accessible suppose if a method is available only in the derived class cannot be accessible by this mixed object okay now in that scenario you create the object for derived class only Yes, if you want to access the methods only which is available in derived class. Is that clear? Only. Yeah, put method is available only in the derived class. So still we can uh, use the uh, vector yes. base class methods. Base class and if you want to access only the methods available in the derived class. This display like uh, in base class there is a display, right? In this class there is a display. So, common uh, method can be accessed. Common methods, correct. Common method means like uh, what this method is doing. I mean, if it is change, I mean, different in both the classes, then. In the sense? Like uh, you are printing here, here, hello, and there you are printing something else. Then. Where? There it is abstract method. Nothing, you cannot provide a body for that. Display. Abstract method. Abstract methods in the sense body will not be there. Clear? Any doubts? This is what is all about abstract. Whenever if you need to provide any prototype for your project, let's say some methods, variables and plans for your project, we can make use of this. What is the use of this abstract method? If we are not you just take it out. Of most of the classes, most of the classes, they will be providing abstract methods. And they will, it is just like a business plan implementation. now, implementation, uh, where the architects, they will provide the plan. These are the methods, it should be available. Junior level people, we will be following that particular plan. We have to override these methods. See, they specify abstract method in this fashion and they will provide a comment. This method should display hello. They will write some comments where they will not code exactly, they will plan it. Where by seeing that abstract uh, class, abstract methods, we will uh, write the coding, rest of the coding, because juniors will spend time. Well, that is one reason. And another reason is, whenever you are explaining to someone that your project has this particular methods, to understand which parameter, which method is useful for you, let's say, tomorrow instead of you, someone else will come. If I want to connect to the database based on the ID, by seeing this abstract methods only, they can get to know. Okay, this method is there. It will take uh, ID as parameter and returns void as a type. You can get to know and you can use it. In that scenarios, so can this provide, is... Uh, parameters also? Yes. If you want, you can provide parameters also. Of course, here you need to have parameters. Okay? And here also, pass it. That's done. Clear? This is abstract keyword. Make a note. 